Hey everyone, this is Faisal Maash. I am an electrical engineering student and today I'm going to show you a software that's called an iMultison. This software is basically used for simulation and uh, assembling circuits. So let's get started. I have the 13.0 version. So as you can see here in the interface, this is the workplace. Here you can put your circuit and connect the components together at this place here as you can see on the left we have this tab this tab shows you your designs you can have one design two you can have multiple designs so let's go ahead and click on file and then you create you'll have design one and design two at the same window on the top here we can have some important shortcuts here here you have some shortcuts for your components you can have here the source and then the basics we'll see later what these are and here you can find the run don't worry about this one because here here's here there are some advanced things so run is fine and on the top right you can find the zoom in and zoom out commands and here you can zoom an area now on the right you can have those scopes here you'll you'll be having a multimeter here function generator that generates a voltage with certain frequency and certain offset and here you'll have a wattmeter to measure the power and an oscilloscope two channels and a four channel oscilloscope and other things boot plotter for gain and other things of course down here we can see the tab this tab i don't really use this tab only for components because sometimes uh, i need to buy the, i need to buy those components so i just go ahead and print this components so the most important tab here is the components tab after uh, implementing our first circuit on multisim today we're gonna see that each component we put here it's gonna be added in this list here so let's go ahead and start with our first project so in our project today we're gonna make a simple circuit which is a lid with a switch so let's go ahead and click on source as you can see here there is a database and then group don't worry about database usually they use it to uh, to input a custom component you don't need that because you already have plenty of components here don't worry so we just go to sources to bring in a DC power supply you will have different things here so let's just add a DC power supply and then let's go to LEDs because it is a light emitting diode so we go to diodes and then go to LED let's choose wherever you want I'm gonna choose the blue color it's my favorite color by the way and then let's choose the switch we can find the switches at basic and then go to basic within basic you will find switches here choose any switch symbol input and output so put the switch here and then we need the smaller resistance so you go to basic again and then resistor you can choose 500 or 1k let's keep it as it is yeah keep it as it is 1k resistor and then we need the ground without a ground this circuit won't work because multisim does not accept a circuit without a ground so let's go ahead to source and then not digital ground ground okay and then click x to exit and then let's connect our components together okay click here just to make it look regular as you can see here all the components are added in this list down here let's connect our components together the resistor with the switch and then the switch with the diode and then to the ground and now let's click on run as you can see the lid is off why because it's an open circuit so let's just double click here or single click so it's on as you can see 